the other psychology engineers. Uh, psychology we are using to describe our own mental state. That's okay. No, I want to um, have love story. Okay. Great. Um, but that's my desire. <laughs> I say, I say, you want to say, say tomorrow, what, what are you going to do? You want to stay at home? Yeah. Or you believe. <laughs> yeah. Really, really do it. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> that kind of thing that you have desire, you have beliefs, you have, you know, intentions and you know a lot of things like that. Those are four psychology which Church and talk about desires, beliefs, perceptions, intentions, will, and however I say anger, feelings, you know, this kind of things. And he would say this kind of that before at first we talked about he tried to eliminate all these terms. <laughs> Not scientific enough for him. So you're a folk psychologist, not that anybody needs. Most people are. Isn't it if you're a psychologist, you're a folk psychologist? Yes, most people are. But certainly there are neuropsychologists too. You know, I used to go to university, and university have three, psychology department had one building, but they have often three levels. The first level, second level, first level is ordinary folk psychology, and second level is often social uh, psychology. But the basement, <laughs> in neuropsychology, <laughs> <don't got it. laughs> yeah, I don't know why the basement. Maybe we need larger space. So to draw. But I got the feeling that folk psychology is a pejorative term. It's, it's not. It's just a branch of psychology. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's maybe. I don't know. It's a little bit um, biased, but I don't think people who argue for folk psychology they're proud to use that term too. So. For Cheshire, maybe a little bit, but for the people yeah. who are using this term, they're not necessarily uh, so it's like a provincial mm -hmm. vision to it. Like, really yes, yes, yeah, they don't have color. a feel. They don't have a feel. But people, you know, they don't care. They still say, no, why not? Yeah, but maybe you know, just say ordinary psychology, just psychology. So, so folk psychology is like is, is sort of that whole stereotypical scenario where you're you're at the therapist. Um, and he says, so, okay, so how does it make you feel? It's not necessarily a therapist. It's really what you study from, say, a college psychology textbook. You talk about cognitions, you talk about perception, you talk about desire, you talk about will, all this. Oh, so it's just psychology. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just <laughs> ordinary psychology. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there are certainly people at other levels, let's say, there are social industrial psychology, there are also basic neuron <laughs> psychology, right. so that, yeah, that's a new set. <laughs> sure, sure. Yes? Yes. Wait, what's the intentional stance? Um, Sorry? What's the intentional stance? Yeah, the intentional stance is how out of perception, how we call the heart, the whole picture. Really, consciousness is just uh, you have a high level um, awareness or perceptions of what's going on in your own Mental states. So you have another person sitting in your mind, look at it with a high order perception. And you monitor what's going on in the mental state. That is also very controversial. There are many other theories, you know, how the thought, you know, synchronized uh, awareness. But still, I told you, there are no consensus regarding what is consciousness. Um, but there are a lot of uh, research going on, especially from neuro scientific studies. So those guys are really doing something important. <laughs> <laughs> Other than philosopher, we are, we are just trying to clarify concepts. We didn't do any empirical work, <laughs> but we do hope that by clarifying these concepts, the scientists can do a better work. So that's kind of where we can then we start with the machines. <laughs>